Hey Busy Crafters, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a tiered tray using a spindle that I got from Lowe's for your, your staircase, as well as these dowels that I got from Hobby Lobby. I also got the Goo Gone from Hobby Lobby. I did not end up using that wax, but I did use the Gorilla Glue, as well as these screws and the oh, shelving paper that I got from the Dollar Tree and the three set trays that I got from Walmart, as well as my screw gun and my drill gun. The dowel that I got, or the spindles that I got from the blows, I ended up cutting the bottom off and it, I cut off five and a half inches. And so each one of those pieces are 11 inches long. I was gonna make this a three tiered tray, but it got very wobbly and I think I need to make the dowel shorter for the next tier tray that I'm about to make. But um, so we ended up only making a two tier, tier tray with a small tray off to the side. And right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the, the paper, the shelf paper that I got from the Dollar Tree um, to the size of each of these trays. So the trays that I'm using, I got a three piece set from Walmart for the total of 1064 and that was before taxes and stuff like that. So still about $11 with taxes. And normally a tiered tray can cost anywhere between $23.99 from my scene, which was the cheapest that I have seen, all the way up to $68. This tiered tray, I ended up only spending $18.67 making it myself. And I really love the way it turned out. So making the stuff, not only do you get the experience and the joy of making your own things, but you also get to save money as well, you know? So think about that when, when you, you know, just think about that. <laughs> I'm all lost for words. So right now I'm going ahead and putting in the, the paper, the shelving paper, and I'm using my little scraper for Cricut. I'm using that to go ahead and smooth it all out. Unfortunately, I do have a little bit of wrinkles, but you really can't tell, especially since things are going to be sitting on top of it. So it won't even, you know, really matter all that much. But it kind of aggravated me a little bit because sometimes I can be a perfectionist. And anything that I make, I want to be more higher quality, you know. So... I was thinking about either taking the the little handles, the little burlap, or not burlap, the jute handles off the side of it. But I actually ended up keeping it because this is going to be more of like a farmhouse type thing. Even though my house is not farmhouse, um, this kind of reminds me of something that, you know, a cute little farmhouse will have. So now I'm just going ahead and cleaning up the edges. And yeah, so... The the staircase spindle I got at Lowe's for a total of $5.98. And again, these are all before taxes. So this the three-piece set of trays was $10.64. Plus the staircase spindle was $5.98. I used five of the, the finial caps, which were at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.49. So if you really split it up, it comes out to $0.16 cents each. And then the shelf liner was from Dollar Tree for $1.25. And yeah, that's just, you know, what it is. I also pre-drilled holes into each one of the spindles because I do use screws. And the screws that I used were exterior wood screws. And they were 8 by one and 5 eighths. And even though I used screws and glue the the third tier of the tray was actually very wobbly. So I got those all together. I screwed it in and set it off to the side. I'm not showing the whole thing when the whole the three pieces. I'm not going to show the whole thing because I end up having to tear it apart and unscrew some stuff and then redo the the papers on a couple of the the things or the the trays. So now we're going to go ahead and put more paper in and I'm not going to have you guys watch all that. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to shelf or yeah, paper your cabinets and stuff.
So here we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put it all together. I was going to use the antique wax from Hello Hobby on the spindle itself, but I kind of liked the way the, the bright white looked up against the the oh, rustic look of the 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 trays um these trays come in two different colors from what i've seen it comes in this distressed white and it also comes in a walnut looking brown and now you guys can see the back of my head cuz you know you guys really need to see that but um yeah i was having a little bit of trouble screwing on screwing this down got a little then i got smart and decided to screw it in a little bit and then place it over the pre-drilled hole <clears throat> technically I should have and I'm squirting some hot glue in there as well I ended up instead of using a bunch of wood glue because this wood was really absorbing the glue for some reason so I ended up just switching over to my Gorilla hot glue that I got for Christmas and now we're going ahead and making sure it's all in there and I should have screwed it in first and then put the paper down. But then I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm going to just put a third tier on there. And ended up not happening. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put the the little, the, la or the second dowel on there. Or the second spindle on there with the, the dowel cap. And... It didn't catch me gluing down the dowel cap. But these dowel, these are finial dowel caps. They are one fourth hole, nine pieces, three quarter inch. And they're from Hobby Lobby. And for the nine piece pack, it's $1.49. Which, like I said, if you split it up, then it technically is only 16 cents per, per cap. And also on there, I did not show that... I used the pop pop brand from Joann's in black. And that's what I paint the little dowel with. And yeah, now we're making sure that everything is going good. There's the pop for the dowel. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint that. This turned out really cute. Those little rabbits that I got for Easter, I didn't get to do any real Easter decorations. I got to do, you know, two of them, not as much as I wanted to. And I sure didn't get to do spring because we were still snowing. Now we have pretty good weather today, so that's amazing. It's nice and sunny out, warm. So I used those rabbits to, for the decoration. And still painting. So if you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and please hit like, subscribe, and comment. Because that would really help me out. And I would like to get to know the people watching. And I appreciate you guys so much clicking on my channel. Clicking on this video. Go ahead and watch my other ones that I have. This will be video number 12. And now I have this other, the last, the smallest one. Um, tray flipped over and I'm gluing four of these dowel caps to the bottom of them and painting them as well with the same um, pop color in, or the pop brand in the color black and now we get to watch paint I guess it's better than watching paint dry huh <laughs> I don't know sometimes watching paint dry is funner than some chores around the house. But that's fine. So, so yeah, a lot of the times when I make things, I do use them around my own home. Like I have to make a curtain for my foyer's window by the door. And I have the materials for that to go ahead and do that. I also have to make throw pillows from scratch. Because that's... I really like doing that. That's fun. I tell you, I'm busy a lot, but I guess that's, I, I like being busy. So we're going to go ahead and continue watching me paint because, you know, that's fun. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I left it in for so long, but um, 
yeah, there's going to be another tiered tray that I'm going to be making. And it's going to be the brown one. And that one's going to be for my kitchen. This one's for my living room. And like I said, even though my house isn't really farmhouse, not yet at least, um, it's kind of just a mixture of everything. And it, it turned out really cute. I really like the... It's a mixture of both me and my husband together. So it's nice. And... Yeah, so like I said, I didn't use the antique wax for the spindles. And pretty soon we're almost done with the painting of these legs. And then there we go. Almost, almost there. We're in the home stretch, guys. We're in the home stretch. So just bear with me. I'm just going to keep rambling on over stuff. I do that anyway, so that's <laughs> my kids. <laughs> But, yeah, there we go. And I also have to make decorations for my son's bathroom upstairs, my youngest son. And there's the last one. I kind of liked leaving the, the jute twine on there. It turned out nice. And there is the end result. That is what it looks like in the end. It's pretty sturdy. It held up really nice. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.